all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as you the world in case you have not joined our social media and what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop it will be the first we'll collect them let's go down uh, to the news proper city or to don't share uh, for the matters where we say day for my table for the obodo uh, that matter the day shocking to me um i see the b meanwhile uh, you know get a cb where it never be before uh, Mazin and the canal uh, will be the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra is seeking uh, what is called uh, what is called negotiation with the federal government of Nigeria over his trial. Uh, let's go back, let's go down to the full detail of the information so that you can see as the matter they be. The IPOB leader has been in DSS custody since June 2021 when he was arrested in Kenya. Kano has been in the DSS custody since June 2021. When he was arrested in Kenya, since his arrest, he has been facing terrorism trial leveled against him by the federal government. Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act states, in any proceeding in court, the court may promote reconciliation among parties thereto and encourage and facilitate the amiable settlement thereof. Speaking through his lead counsel, Aloy Ejimako, can make this known in open court on Wednesday after he moved two applications brought before the court. The first application is to move from 49 and an application objection to the jurisdiction of the court. Ejimako said, if the application are denied, they will move for the implementation of Section 17 of the Federal High Court Act. Responding to this, counsel to the federal government, Ade Boyea Awomolo told the court that he had earlier informed the defendant that he does not have the powers to negotiate on behalf of the federal government as the fiat given to him does not empower him to negotiate. He added that the defendant should approach the Attorney General of the Federation. In her reply, Justice Bin Tanyako said the court was not a solicitor but to only hear cases. Kano, who arrived in court in the presence of his lawyers on Wednesday, also spoke on the killing in the Southeast. He insisted that he was, he was all for peace and had no hand in the mother of the some soldiers in Abia State a few weeks ago. I condemn it in its entirety all of the killings because IPOB was founded on a non-violent principle and we maintain that stand and some of these soldiers we are, to we are told are also our people and his family is in mourning right now. So I condemn all the killings. I don't want that. We are fighting for freedom. So how can we want violence? We want people to be free. We have suffered a lot in Africa from slavery in Arabia, Europea, and now slavery in America. This is when to focus on this continent and be what God wants us to be so that they will know that we know what they are doing, he told journalists in court. Uh, this one is coming from Maz Namdekano Hamadike, one of Undi Bodo Guana Manzunanya. According to the information we just dropped from my table, he has moved for a negotiation with the federal government of Nigeria in order to be able to negotiate so that the government will see how best uh, they can set him free and free him from the DSS detention and dungeon. Meanwhile, let's go to other information so we'll be saying in the country. But uh, for you, uh, what do you think on that uh, Mazin and the Canos plea? Uh, kindly go ahead and drop your comment on the comment section uh, so that I will know what you think, uh, what is your opinion. Uh, right now, in River State, uh, there has been a lot of chaos in River State, Katakata everywhere. Uh, as they, be, they say they don't buy two policemen 
and also police has taken over 23 river state uh, local government secretariat as crisis spread the river state police command said it has taken over the local government council in the state as well as some critical infrastructure in oil and gas free state the police said the action was to forestall further bloodbath as well as breakdown of law and order due to the spread of the crisis over the tenure of the outgoing local government chairman. The spokesperson for the state police command, Grace Iringe Koko, disclosed this in a statement issued on Tuesday night. Iringe Koko also confirmed the killing of a policeman and a member of local vigilante outfit. Statement reads, following the breakdown of law and order in various local government council secretariats in River State, we are supporters of the two political factions clash over the tenure of local government council chairman. A case of death was recorded at Ebiri Omuma, Omuma local government, where a police officer and a vigilante were killed. To forestall more bloodshed and prevent a further breakdown, Nasorio, Nasorio. <laughs> um, uh, when you are employing someone, please know the kind of person you are employing. I also try to investigate and know uh, if the person has criminal threats in him. Uh, because if the person uh, actually have criminal threats, I'm telling you that, my brother, uh, it's not going to be easy for you. Uh, because look at what this guy did in First Bank. Uh, had he been... Uh, for the had it been not for the uh, uh, complaint of one of the customer that led to the investigation uh, it could have been a seal and done deal for years meanwhile let's go down to another information as uh if any age of four mazin and the canals lego council has related a uh, canals extraordinary rendition from kenya and incarceration in the dss custody to uh tinubu's fate uh, that he suffered with Nadeko. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. The most senior lawyer in Mazen and Kano's legal team, Parista Nemeka Ejofo, has said his client was suffering the same fate President Bola Tinubu, other Nadeko members suffered during the military regime of General Sani Abacha, who incarcerated Chief Mashud K. Abiola, the winner of the presidential election during that period. He said whenever prominent persons try to tie up a political solution to affect the release of canon, some unidentified persons would commit, commit serious havoc and it blamed on the indigenous people of Biafra, which is led by him. Paris Saeed Jofor, who stated this shortly after presenting a letter to the Attorney General of the Federation's office in Abuja, Recall that during the visit of some Southeast Elder statesmen led by Chief Amechi Mbazulike, a First Republic Minister to then President Mamadou Buhari, Buhari, out of respect for Mbazulike, promised to consider the request. He said several days later, two soldiers from the Southeast who were about to get married were captured by one unidentified people and brutally murdered. And then adding that they blamed IPOB for the incident. Likewise, the recent national tragedy where five soldiers were killed in Aba in Abia State just a few days after honors the president, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyan vowed to see President Tinubu over Kano's continued detention, he said. He called on President Tinubu to set up a team of retired senior security personnel to investigate the one ton killings in the southeast, stressing that during the Nadeko days, whenever a political solution is to be reached, Sergeant Roger and other members of the strike force would carry out bombing around the country, which we had in the mind of General Abacha not to release Abiola. Barista Ejofo disclosed further that the letter submitted to the Attorney General of the Federation showed the many judgment of Nigeria courts and international panels such as the African Union African Commission of Human and People's Rights, as well as the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, all calling for Kano's release. He said, all the judgments we are enclosed with the subtitle letter to assist the Attorney General reach a fair and just decision so that he can advocate for dispensing of justice with a human face so that the judgments on Nam the Kano are enforced. 
When people like this don't see as it will happen for this particular matter where you say they drop for my table. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, barrister age of what they suggest say um this thing where they happen all the time. Uh, whenever they say that um uh they want they want to release mass and the canal, you will see uh one thing or the other happening. Uh, he is suggesting that uh, maybe it could be some unscrupulous individuals who have decided to make sure uh, that Kano remains uh, in the DSS detention. Uh, he also referred back to the day of M.A.K. Abiola, uh, that whenever Abacha wants to release him, that one of the general uh, will commit one thing in order to be able to keep Abiola back in the uh, back in prison meanwhile this is where i'll be winding down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment and share also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first one collector and thank you for listening god bless you